Welcome everybody to our weekly Onag Shabbat. I hope everyone had a uh, meaningful and happy Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. We're here now in the, the few days between Yom Kippur and Sukkot. As we know, uh, we'll be able to celebrate hopefully this year in the Sukkah. We built a Sukkah outside. Hopefully the residents will get a chance, opportunity, we're working on it, that the residents have an opportunity to visit the Sukkah, of course, the next week. Of course, Rabbi Shane will be around over the holidays as well, as well with our Lulav and Esrog. Everyone could participate in the uh, very meaningful traditions and customs of, um, of the Jewish people. So now we'll begin the Onik Shabbat with the recitation of Shalom Aleichem. Shalom Aleichem, Malachay Ashoreis, Malachay Ahel Yon, Mihi Melech, Malachay Amlochim, Akadosh Vodom. Shalom Aleichem, Malachay Ashoreis, Malachay Ahel Yon, Mihi Shalom Aleichem, Malachay Ashoreis, Malachay Ahel Yon. Mihi Melech, Malachay Amlochim, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Boachem Lishalom, Malachay Ashoreis, Malachay Ahel Yon. Mihi melech ma'al chayam lochim ha'kodosh baruch hu Boachem l'sholom ma'alachai ha'sholom ma'alachai ha'el yon Mihi melech ma'al chayam lochim ha'kodosh baruch hu Boachem l'sholom, alachai ha'sholom, alachai ha'el yon. Mihi melech ma'alachai amlochim ha'kodosh baruch hu. Baruch hu ni l'sholom, alachai ha'sholom, alachai ha'el yon. Mihi melech ma'alachai amlochim ha'kodosh baruch hu. Baruchuni l'shalom, alachai ha'sholom, alachai ahel yon. Mihi melech ma'alachai amlochim ha'kodosh baruch hu. Seitzchem l'shalom, malachai ha'sholom, alachai ahel yon. Mihi melech ma'alachai amlochim ha'kodosh baruch hu. Seiz chem l'shalom, alachai ha'shalom, alachai ha'el yon. Mihi melech ma'alachai amlochim ha'kodosh baruch hu. We know the primary mitzvah of the holiday of Sukkot is eating in the sukkah. That's where the holiday name Sukkot comes from. And we know it's, the commentators explain that the holiday of Sukkot represents God watching over us because when the Jews left Egypt in the desert yes they were happy to leave the slavery to go out into freedom but they had nowhere really to go and God commanded them to go walk in the desert towards Mount Sinai to receive our beloved Torah yet the Jewish people in the desert is uh, not such a safe place to be so God did two things number one he provided them with wood that was planted years and years beforehand by our forefather, forefather Jacob they were able to build physical huts with them to protect them along the way and also, additionally, is God protecting them with the clouds of glory, the Anane HaKavod. These clouds made sure that they were protected, the Jewish people, from the hot, from the heat, from the rain, from the winds, from all the sensitivities that would be in the desert, living in the de desert life. God protected them with the clouds of glory. So, till we go outside for a week, we eat in the sukkah, we live in the sukkah, to represent that, you know, we're, during the year we're in our physical house, which is strong, which is sturdy, but ultimately, even go outside, even in a little bit of a not-so-sturdy hut, but we have God with us to protect us at all. And to God, it doesn't matter if we're in a big, strong building or we're outside, He's always there with us. Shamor <laughs> 
The other part of the holiday, the mitzvah, is taking the lulav, the etrog, the hadas, and thereof, with the four species, the four minim, and shaking them together. And these represent, these are totally separate type of species. You have the citrus fruit, the estrog. You have the palm branch, the lulav, the willow branch, the aravos, and the myrtle, the hadasim. And each one is a little bit different from the next. Some smell nicely. The hadasim have a very nice smell. The estrog has a nice smell. Some you could taste. You could eat the estrog. Some don't have any smell at all. The aravos are just a bunch of leaves. The palm has a tree that grows palm branches. And the question is, why are all these four random uh, pieces of a vegetation really uh, gathered together in the holiday of Sukkot. And there it's explained is that we show our inclusion of all people of all mankind. We'll take all different people, put them together, and unite them all. That's what the holiday of Sukkot is about. Taking people that may be a little bit different than us, inviting them into our sukkah, inviting outsiders into our sukkah, and all celebrating the holiday together. So we take different species, put them together, even though they're certainly not the same in height and weight and what they do for themselves, what they do for us, but it doesn't really matter. They're all equal. And so all of the people in the world are equal as well. I don't know, be ancient he. The Everyone have a happy and healthy Shabbat and Sukkot, and we'll see everybody next week.